the simple meaning of the fruit of Ramadan is Allah is watching me. The tabi'een, the followers, the ancestors of this ummah, they used to make it very simple. Before saying the word, I used to ask myself, is Allah, is Allah gonna be happy with or not? If yes, I'm gonna make it. If not, I'm gonna stop. Where is Allah? Allah As you see him. And as a matter of fact, you cannot see him in dunya. He sees you everywhere. Even that infant in, in the womb of his mother. The sperm before starting. The one who is listening to the footstep, what we used to say, huh, of the black ant under the black stone in the darkness of the night. Yes, Ma'udabib and Namlet is said that. Listening to the footstep of the black ant under the black stone in the darkness of the night. If that's Allah, who we are. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of us among those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did accept the Ramadan, insha'Allah, the salah, the siyam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of us among those who are going to continue the, the righteous deeds. We have started with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a deal to continue inshallah after Ramadan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of us among those who, who made it with the Sahaba of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for six months to accept Ramadan and bless each one of us by alhamdulillah being among those whom Allah will make them attending inshallah the next Ramadan. Getting that great favor of that great month. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our ibadah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of us Rabbanis, not Ramadanis. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of us Rabbanis, not Ramadanis. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of us among those who are gonna listen to the words of Allah, follow the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of us among those who are gonna be able to leave this dunya and their tongues are soft with the remembering of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the last statement in our tongue is La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم وجزاكم الله خيرا. بسم الله رب العالمين والصلاه والسلام على المبعوث رحمه للعالمين سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين. During the hisab, during the accountability, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be seen in a way that no one even will be able to talk, speak up. The Prophet عليه الصلاه والسلام said on that day, لقد غضب الله, Allah has become angry in a way that he will never be as such before and he will never be as such after. And no one can even speak up. No one even can go and talk. 50,000 years, everyone is standing in his place. No mountains, no shelters, no nothing. Mountains are exploded. Earth will be replaced by another flag, plane, no power, no, no protection, no extra support. And everyone is wanna, wanna do something. How we can talk to Allah even, and the, the whole intercession and the whole request is just, we want Allah to start the hisab. Because 50,000 years, the sun is few millimeters from the heads. 50,000 years. And even those who will make it to the hellfire, they want a hisab to stop. Because 50,000 years is standing, not in the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, on a day there is no shade, but the shade is a disaster. And everyone is gonna start looking within the human being. Look for some of those who used to be called close to Allah, the prophets, and let them do something. And they will go to Ibrahim. Ibrahim, you are the father of the Prophet. You are the Habib, the Khalil al-Rahman. Go and do something with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let Allah start the hisab. And you say, I cannot do it. I cannot talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on that day. I cannot even talk to Allah about my son Ishmael. I cannot talk to Allah about my wife Hajar or Sar. I cannot. They will go to Adam. He will say the same. They will go to Isa. He will say the same. Yeah, everyone will say, 
Nafsi, nafsi. Everyone will say myself, myself. And all human beings, those trillions, will appoint their finger to one man. Go to this man. He's the only one in that whole gathering who can make it before Allah. Go to Muhammad, alayhi salatu wasalam. And he will say, I can take care of it. And he will go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that way, in that anger. And he will prostrate under the arsh, under the throne of Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell Muhammad, my beloved prophet, irfa' ra'sak, raise your head. وَاسْأَلْ تُعْطَى Ask, you will be given. وَاشْفَعْ تُشَفَّعْ Intercede, you will be accepted. And the Prophet ﷺ will say one statement. Ya Rabbu Ummati, Ya Rabbu Ummati. Ya Allah my Ummah, Ya Allah my Ummah. In the, in the hadith of al-shafa'a, the intercession, there are two types of shafa'a. One is minor and one is major. That's the minor one. For Allah to start the hisab, and the major will be for the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa by al hawd by the river, by the mizan. Ya Allah, it's just like he's missing one point and he was good and Ya Allah, I'm gonna intercede for him. Okay, accepted. And he is saving the major one for his ummah. And we agreed, we discussed before, some of his ummah even will make it to fire. But he will be in Al-Firdaus Al-A'la not happy. And every time he will come to Allah, Ya Allah, a part of my ummah is still there. He will say, Muhammad, for you, I'm going to take another punch out. Wa'izzati wa jalali, and Allah is going to swear. For you, I'm going to take out of the hellfire whomever has in his heart a small piece of iman. And Allah will take a part of. But still a part of the ummah is in. And the Prophet in al-Firdaus al-A'la, in that highest level in Jannah. But he's not forgetting his ummah. And one son, Ya Allah, my Ummah, some are still there. Till Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take every single one from the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And I believe just before Ramadan we discussed the last guy from the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who will get out of the hellfire and Allah will grant him in Jannah ten times the whole earth. And that's the least the least believer in Jannah in terms of reward. His reward in Jannah is ten times the richest, the whole, the whole earth. And that's the guy who is thinking that no one can be higher than him, even the Prophet. And he's the, la the least level in Jannah. Those who will make it to Jannah in the day, on, on the Friday prayer, during, during the, on the Friday, there is something in Jannah called Surat al Jum'ah. Friday market. It will be a gathering and the people, believers are gonna come together in one place and they're gonna come to, because they have been used to do the same, pray. And Allah will tell them, no praying anymore. Today, it's just reward, no action anymore. Ya Allah, He will say, I'll give you something that could be better than anything else of what you have seen in Jannah. What could be more than what we have seen in Jannah, Ya Allah? Hijab, the barrier will be taken out and you are going to look at my face. And that's the optimum pleasant and happiness for the believers in Jannah. And he's going to tell them, اليوم أحل عليكم رضوان Today, I am overshadowing you, showering you with my satisfaction. ولا أصخط عليكم أبدا And I'll never be angry with you anymore. And that's the optimum happiness for all the believers who are coming from levels. We said Jannah is how many levels? Jannah is how many levels in Jannah? Levels, not gates. Same number.